everybody, it's Mike Brewer from ApartmentHacker.com, and it's uh, Wednesday, April the 6th, and I'm coming to you from a rainy St. Louis. I actually pulled my car over to do this video. Uh, I'm trying to be a little more safe. I know it's a very bad thing to do videos when you're driving down the road. Um, but I was reading through the apartment chat transcript last night, and I came across some dialogue between Heather Bloom and Eric Brown, and the topic was uh, the one per hundred myth. Uh, one per hundred meaning one employee per hundred units, whether you're on the service side or you're on the administrative side, one per one employee per hundred units, uh, the size of your community. So, uh, you know, Eric's position is that one per hundred is a myth and the entrance of technology into the multi-family space has allowed for us to reduce headcount we all know that's the most expensive line item in, in any given uh, multifamily budget. And his premise or his predicate is that, hey, this all this new technology we're able to introduce into the, the workplace is allowed for uh, a reduction in that headcount. I think two things. First and foremost, if you're looking at employees as an expense, you're just thinking about it completely the wrong way. Uh, Human beings are, are capital investments, in my opinion. Not unlike you would paint a building and replace rotten wood, you would make investments in those employees. You would teach them and train them and develop their characters such that they would add value to your community, whether that be through incredible customer service uh, or taking their financial acumen to the next level, meaning that they can uh, calculate returns on investments for small upgrades to their apartments or small upgrades to their common area spaces or amenity spaces, but you fine tune them as it relates to being a business person and you increase your NOIs through the capital investments that you make in those people. Not unlike you would increase the NOIs via capital investments in, in, uh, in your physical plant, right? In the pr property itself. Um, and just to, to think that the view is, hey, just cut their heads off and throw them out, you know, in left field and right field and, and forget about it, not think about them as, as people is, I think that's misguided. Um, the second thing is that I think that I agree one per hundred is a myth. I've agreed for that with that for an incredibly long time. And I think that equation has been been a miss. I think if nothing else, the entrance of technology into the multifamily space has finally right-sized that equation. We finally have the time where we can give effort to the right uh, levers of our business that will move the, the NOI up uh, and thus create a higher value for a community. Um, it's, not, it's not giving us the opportunity to cut heads. I just think that's... Uh, that's really nearsighted, uh, short-sighted rather, uh, thinking. Uh, and I would hope and I would encourage anybody that, that starts to think down that road to really explore every avenue, every single avenue that that will impact in your organization from morale to culture to so on and so forth. And twist that thinking or twist that mindset toward thinking about people as capital investments. Invest in those people send them to seminars and classes and or bring people in to speak to them or train them yourself train them up yourself um but it, and look for look for that to yield results in the way of uh, of a net operating income increase uh or or the increase in value of your community don't look at it as an opportunity to cut a head off uh so that's my rant for today sorry i went so long but uh it's an important topic, and I think it's one that demands uh, a lot of thought before you think about uh, running down that road. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.